Hey, the results are in, amigo. What's left to ponder? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> he pull off on the scooter with a chick on his back. <laughs> hey, here's to the goat. Yay! Zoolander. I'm getting to all y'all requests, okay? I'm trying to get to everything. This Zoolander has been requested for a while when I was doing all the um, liar, liar, uh, me, myself, and Irene. When I was doing all of those, Zoolander came up. <laughs> and now we're here. I know it's been a minute. Check your clock, check your calendar. We made it. Dude, this got an all-star cast. It got Will Ferrell. It got Ben Stiller, Will Ferrell, Owen Wilson, this is about to be lit. Jerry Stiller, I seen him a few times. Y'all know I'm not big on knowing all the, the people's names. I know like the big actors, I, I'm more of a face guy. When I see their face, I'm like, oh, I seen her, I seen him in that. But you can't miss Ben Stiller or Owen Wilson either because he got that one nose that you just cannot forget. Owen, what happened to Owen's nose? Did he get kicked or something? Did his nose get broken? <laughs> or is it just like that? But enough on Owen Wilson's nose, y'all. We about to get into Zoolander. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Give me the HBO special. Help a brother out today. You don't want to help me out. I'm coming to get you. Drop your address in the comments. Social security numbers too. If y'all feel up to it today. <laughs> Zoolander. Let's get it. As the newly elected Prime Minister has given this impoverished nation the gift of hope. Promising to raise the substandard minimum wage and end child labor once and for all. Prime Minister of Malaysia doing big things. Shouts out to the Prime Minister of Malaysia. How could you let this happen? I have negotiated my butt off, Giorgio. I've George Washington? Dogs, I've tried gifts. I even sent him some pet oxen. I mean, they love that crap in Malaysia, but he won't budge. Listen, 50% of my inventory is manufactured in sweatshops on the Malaysian border. Something has got to be done. Oh no, they need the Malaysia sweatshops. Oh, it's not about to be good for the Prime Minister. The Malaysian must be eliminated, Mugatu. No, I don't have time for this. Perhaps you'd rather go back to churning out novelty neckties and heckin' sack. But my new fall line is almost due. And I trust you would like to live to see your spring line as well. New York in 14 days. Do it then. 14 days? That's fashion week. It's impossible. I have a show. It's perfect. Try him to be your guest of honor. That's not enough time. It takes months to recruit and train an operative. Dude got the same hair as his dog, man. <laughs> Too smart. This is a rush job. He's got to be extremely dim-witted. You know the profile, Jacobin? A beautiful, self-absorbed, simply manipulated and molded like jello. Or cookie dough. Play-doh. Any kind of dough. We get it. The point is, we need an empty vessel. A shallow, dumb, vacuous model. And when he's finished, we dispose of him. But who? I mean, where in all of God's green goodness am I gonna find someone that beast-headed? They about to whack the Prime Minister of Malaysia. He just starting to get things moving. So when did you know you wanted to be a model? I guess it would have to be the first time I went through the second grade. I caught my reflection in a spoon while I was eating my cereal. And I remember thinking, wow, you're ridiculously good looking. You could do that for a career. Do what? Be professionally good looking. So you thought of that in the second grade, huh? Well, I guess the look I'm best known for is blue steel. What's that look like? <laughs> Impressive. No, it's not. And then there's Ferrari and the Tigra. The Tigra's a lot softer. It's a little bit uh, more of a catalog look. I use it for footwear sometimes. Can I see that? Look like blue steel. <laughs> oh, Lord, Ben Stiller gonna be on one in this movie. Blue steel. Look, without Derek Zoolander, male modeling wouldn't be what it is today. He is Zoolander, a legend. He pulled Donald Trump out? Oh, sure. I've been working on Magnum for at least the last eight or nine years. Magnum? That's intriguing. Can I see that? <laughs> Are you kidding? I shouldn't even be talking about it. It's nowhere near ready. This is probably Magnum right here. <laughs> Look just like Blue Steel. That boy stepped out looking like Tom Cruise. Eric Zoolander. Hansel. <laughs> That's who Derek Zoolander is defending his title against tonight. Will. Oh, yeah, hate to see something like that at an event like this. There's no denying Jacobi Mugatu has been accused of exploiting cheap Malaysian workers like his most of the garment industry's clothes. <laughs> And, uh, Whoa, if I tell you anything else, this guy's gonna kill me. Golly, everybody is here. Corey Ballstein, Balls Models. A man who needs no introduction. Let me tell you something, nobody can touch Derek. Nobody! 
competition. Derek, Hansel Derek. look ready. Are you worried about Hansel? Not as much as I'm worried about Gretel. Screw you and your little dog, too. Look out, she's got an egg. She can't, oh! oh. <laughs> he deserve it. They trying to whack the prime minister. Mugatu got plans up his sleeve. We have a serious problem on our hands, Maury. This Malaysian thing is getting out of hand. Hey, Jocko. This proposed wage increase could ruin all of us. We need to take care of soon. I have people to answer to. <gasps> Lenny right, Kravitz? Here are the nominees for Male Model of the Year. Young, hot, brash. With more covers in his first year than any rookie model ever. And an attitude that says, who cares? It's only fashion. That Hansel's so hot right now. I hear a lot of words like <laughs> beauty and handsomeness and incredibly chiseled features. That's like a vanity, <laughs> that self-absorption that I try to steer clear of. I dig the bungee. I mean, for me, it's just the way I live my life. I grip it and I rip it. With a lot of flair, I live it on the edge. Right out of being. <laughs> I wasn't like every other kid, you know, who dreams about being an astronaut. I was always more interested in uh, what bark was made out of on a tree. <laughs> Oh my, Sting. Sting would be another person who's a hero. And I respect that. <laughs> I care desperately about what I do. Do I know what product I'm selling? No. Do I know what I'm doing today? No. But I'm here and I'm going to give it my best shot. Hansel's an idiot, basically. It just looks good. <laughs> Incredibly chiseled. Hansel, good video. Over the past decade, male modeling has had a shadow Here we go. over it by one man in five syllables. Yeah. It's you, <laughs> <laughs> It's not just about being good looking or having a lot of fun and being really, really good looking. <laughs> The calendar was great because it gave people a chance to see a side of my versatility. Yeah, what versatility? All of it look alike. Mm -hmm. Means misshapen ball of clay. I try to think about that every time I get in front of the camera. Three time male model of the year, Eric Zoolander. Yeah! <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm going for Hansel. I'm going for Hansel Zoolander. Nothing personal. You got to switch the look up. Well, let me see the magnum. Goes to Hansel. Zoolander doing? <laughs> he delusional. Thank you, Lenny. <laughs> you know, a lot of people said winning this award four years in a row couldn't happen. He was overprepared. Well, I, I showed. Hey. Damn, Zoolander, he gonna be sick. He still got his model look on. Steve. No, not Derek. He's perfect, and you know it. Now make it happen. Oi, stings me like a fissure in my ass, but you're right. He's ready. Derek, it's gonna be okay, man. You won three years in a row. You can't win them all. <laughs> he got get this look off his face. <laughs> I guess I have a lot of things to ponder. Hey, the results are in, amigo. What's left to ponder? <laughs> <laughs> Pull off on a scooter with a chick on his back. <laughs> hey, here's to the goat. I to <laughs> he was ready. <laughs> At the spoon that he saw himself in in second grade. <laughs> Things ain't looking the same, Derek. You know what could really help you sort through these important issues? What? Orange mocha frappuccino! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! They vibing. <laughs> I did a reaction to this song. <laughs> oh! Eric Zoolander, a model, idiot. <laughs> they gonna kill themselves. He's spraying gas everywhere. This ain't safe. Wake me up! But I don't go! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> ah! This is not funny, cause these guys. What the f? An actual brother, but I mean it like the way black people use it. Hey! Which is more meaningful, I think. Yeah, we yeah, we mean it. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to take this opportunity to announce my retirement. <laughs> hey! 
Oh, Hansel making an entrance. I'd like to announce my retirement from the male modeling profession. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more to life than being really, really good looking. <laughs> Are you Googleizer? One who speaks at funerals? <laughs> okay, now learn new terminology. Not interested. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got an after funeral party to attend. After funeral party? <laughs> What the hell? You're overreacting. I want to do something meaningful with my life, Maury. Boom. I need to get in touch with my roots. Figure out who I am. See you around, Maury. That boy lost, man. He lost the life right now. He don't know what to do with himself. Coal mining country. Southern New Jersey. He turned into a coal miner? I hate the snake outfit. <laughs> that is not a good outfit. It's me. Scrappy, Luke, <laughs> you remember your brother, right? I thought maybe I could work the mines with you guys. You know, all the Zoolander men together again, like when we were kids. <laughs> Times have changed, boy. You wouldn't last one day down those coal pits. Can't you even pretend to be happy to see me, Pop? Damn it, Derek, I'm a coal miner, not a professional film or television actor. I'll do us all a favor and get out of here. Mm. Pop's, Pop said, get out of here. Give me a chance. I won't let you down, I promise. The sexiest coal miner in the world, y'all. <laughs> Look like me. <laughs> what the hell's the matter with you? Big rush. Oh. Who's winning the match? State. <laughs> I think I'm getting the black lung, Bob. It's not very well ventilated down there. Christ's sake, Derek, you've been down there one day. One day of work. Talk to me. <laughs> one day of work and getting the black lung. <laughs> what the wildest shit ever. Change the channel. <laughs> Sorry I was born with this perfect bone structure. My hair looks better done up with gel and mousse, hidden under a stupid hat with a light on it. All I ever wanted to do was make you proud of me, Pop. With what, your male modeling? Prancing around in your underwear with your wiener hanging out for everyone to see? It's a good paying job, Dad. And your dead mother. Come on, Dad. I just thank the Lord she didn't live to see her son as a mermaid. <laughs> I'm sorry, that ain't just not a funny moment, but... Merman. <laughs> Merman! <laughs> I'm sorry to laugh in such a serious moment, but the mermaid or merman's crap was out of control. It was, I've never seen a merman. The, the, the heck? Oh, Aquaman. Aquaman's a merman, technically. Hello? Derek, you hearing me? God? God, what the shit are you talking about? It's me, Maury. <laughs> Oh God, who's making you an offer you won't believe? You gotta get your tuckers back here. Well, when Maury told me what you were willing to do, I... <laughs> Are you not aware that I get farty and bloated with a foamy latte? My mistake, Jacques Bill. Your mistake indeed. <laughs> you don't have to do the brother like that. Mugatu, I'll kick your ass. Yes, Derek. What Maury said I was willing to do for you. Let's get back to the reason that we're really here. Dude, Will got this damn waist trainer shirt on. <laughs> the Derek Zoolander Center for Kids Who Can't Read Good. That's pretty lit. What is this? Derek! A center for ants! What? How can we be expected to teach children to learn how to read? They can't even fit inside the building. It's a base motto, dude. The center has to be at least three times bigger than this. He's absolutely right. Thank you. And so do I. Let me show you mine. You must have some kind of a relationship with him. Even if I did, why would I talk to you? Shame on you how you picked on Derek Zuland in that story. He's a sweet simpleton who never heard a fly. Please don't change the subject, Mr. Ballstein. <laughs> Mr. Ballstein? <laughs> do you have an opinion on that? You want to hear an opinion? The push-up bra, you could actually have a nice rack of lamb going on up there. Future. And that's why you fashion. can't piss, Mr. Ballstein. Let me show you Derelict! It is a fashion, a way of life inspired by the very homeless, the vagrants, the, 
the crack hole that make this wonderful city so unique. Look like Yeezy, Kanye oh, West. To be the face, the image, nay, the spirit of Derelict. It'll be your glorious comeback. Derek, I'd like you to meet Tinka Inga Borgovnina. <laughs> She'll be your day to day on the campaign. I, I will not be able to remember her name. I'm Let's sorry. This model on his way. The big show is in eight days, Derek. Like a caterpillar becomes a butterfly, so must you become Derelict. So you want me to sleep in the gutter? No. We're sending you to a very exclusive day spa. Our little secret, okay? It's weird. I mean, I couldn't get any info on him before 1995. It's like he just appeared out of the blue. That's strange. Mm. Matilda Jeffries. Keep pulling the sweater. Excuse me? Eventually, the whole thing will unravel. You mean if you pull the thread, the whole thing will unravel? Now you're talking, sister. If you want to know more, <laughs> go to Pier 12. Things aren't what they seem. Uh, she just got a clue. She just got a clue. Matilda gonna get to the bottom of it. Whatever it is, she gonna get to the bottom of it. I can tell right now. What kind of spa is this? It's designed for deep, deep relaxation. Come, let's get you loosened up. Damn, she pulled up quick to Pier 12. <laughs> she got a big jump. <laughs> I don't even know what type of booty that is. How much she pay for that? And that ain't real. <laughs> Damn doctor got a BBL. That's different. I'm sorry, Derek? Matilda, what are you doing here? Oh, Derek! Bonneville! Haven't you heard? I'm the new face of Mugatu's derelict campaign. That thing got a mind of his own. Uh, what the What do you mean, Derek? You, you said Mugatu never hires you. Well, I guess he changed his mind. It's only the biggest campaign in the world ever. <laughs> Who are you? This is private property. Nils! Oh. Oh. Stay the hell away from Derek Zoolander. Lucky I can't pronounce your name, lady. Crazy ass. Little sexy though. <laughs> to relax and breathe. Can I Bob Marley DJ? Deeply. Don't do it. I like this song. Relax. Don't do it. Oh, they played the banger. Hello. Uh -huh. Hello. Welcome to your relaxation time. <laughs> hey, this Will. Wonderful 80s classic. Soothe you. Just a nice, warm, happy time. <laughs> Nothing to worry about at all. Just relax. They're a kid who wants you to know the real truth about child labor laws, okay? Good old days. Kids as young as five could work as they please. Textile factories to iron smelts. Jesus. At five? Day. The age-old right of children to work is under attack. From the Philippines to Bangladesh, and China and India, and South America, too. But you can help these children, Derek, by killing the Prime Minister of Malaysia. He is bad. What? Yeah, Derek, this is crazy. Kill naughty man. Kill naughty man. Kill naughty man. They brainwashing him. On the runway, you have one objective. Do not be distracted by the beautiful celebrities. I got a little Kim up there. <laughs> Do as you've been trained to do and kill the Malaysian Prime Minister! Ah! Machine! Ah! Oh! 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 Derek, are you in there? Hold your horses! Derek, open the door! I wonder if that hypnotization worked. Oh, it was a dream. I don't think it was a dream, Derek. What? Hey, are you okay? I've been trying to reach you for a week. Week? What are you having a whack attack? I saw you this afternoon, dum dum. That was last Friday. Damn. Uh, Earth to Matilda. I was at a day spa. Day. D A I Y E. Okay. <laughs> the brainwash messed the spelling up. I can't sleep with you. Okay. My head is killing me, and what I'm. What are you talking about? Hey, That's cool, but... I don't want to sleep with you. <laughs> I've been trying to tell you you've been missing for a week. Would you look at the date? Mugatu's Derelict show is tomorrow night. I don't care what the date says. You have 1,200 messages. 1,200 messages in a week? That is a bit above average. Yeah. Eric, what happened in that spa? You can't just come barging into people's lofts, wanting sex, then changing your mind, telling them that they've been in a day spa for a week. You have been in a day spa for a week. So what? Do you understand that the world does not revolve around you and you're ruining as many people's lives so long as you can make a name for yourself as an investigatory journalist, no matter how many friends you lose, people you leave dead and bloodied along the way, so long as you can make a name for yourself as an investigatory journalist, no matter how many friends you lose, or people you leave dead and bloodied and dying along the way. <laughs> 
<laughs> Derek, I told you I was sorry about that article. Enough! And My head hurts. Yeah, you just said a whole bunch of crap. By the way. What? With your complexion, you really shouldn't be wearing your hair pulled back that tight. What are you talking about? It pulls back the skin on your forehead, creating a tension which clogs the pores. That's why you have some light pattern dryness around your scalp. <laughs> Do you mind? Uh, damn! Great! Hey, hey, Zoolander, help me out. Hey, what can you do with me, brother? Do you do black clients, Zoolander? We got different texture hair. Do not like Snoopy reporter with lack of fashion sense. One little bit. I don't like your makeup, not one little bit. Seems like all of Mr. Mugatu's models have a bad habit of dying young in freak accidents. Tragic orgy. He died in the orgy. No. That's a good way to go. <laughs> Wait a second. Jesus. How do you... Die in the orgy, that's different. Yeah, that lady. What's going on? I gotta go. Zoolander, they're gonna kill him. Out. I just need to speak with Derek Zoolander, please. I just thought the way that you handled the cancel and then you sort of low for a while and then made your comeback. It was so courageous. Look, I gotta go pee, but I'd really like to continue talking about this conversation when I come back. <laughs> Zoolander's back, baby, in full effect. Yeah, thank you. Hey, Derek. Roll. Thanks, Paris. I what? appreciate that. Do everybody in this movie. Excuse me, brah. You're excused. Oh, crap. And I'm not your bra. Whatever. Peace. God bless. <laughs> hey, Hansel. I'm real sorry you didn't get Mugatu's Star League campaign. Maybe next time. What's that? Mugatu's Derelict campaign. Sorry you didn't book it. Oh yeah? I've never even heard of it. You and my friends have been too busy bathing off the southern coast of St. Bart's with spider monkeys for the past tripping on ass. It changed our whole perspective. <laughs> oh, he so I guess, uh, I guess you can dare to lick my balls, Capitan. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he got it. He also got that one, Zoolander. <laughs> dare to lick my own balls. Thank you very much. Bro. I think you're too cool for school, but I got a news flash for you, Walter Cronkite. You aren't. We could have had a better finish. What are you trying to get crazy with, I say? <laughs> Don't you know I'm local? Hey, I got a wacky idea. What say we settle this on the runway? Han Solo. <laughs> I got him Han Solo. Challenge me to walk on? Boo. Lander. Don't do this, Derek. Listen to your friend Billy Zane. He's a cool dude. <laughs> yeah. He's trying to help you out. Oh, yeah. That's a walk off challenge, my friend. Ten minutes. Old members only warehouse. You gotta remember that. You're a dinosaur. Dude, he be whipping that scooter out like a gun. <laughs> we gotta walk off, guys. I don't know what the hell that is. I heard some mad stories about this kid, man. He's limber. He's too limber. Put a cork in it, Zane. <laughs> Zane is only trying to help. <laughs> Derek! Hey, Matilda. You want to see the real world of male modeling? The one they don't show you in magazines or the E! Channel? Yeah, I guess. Derek, please. I have something really important to talk to you about. Stella is about to have his hand sell ass. <laughs> Hand it to him on a platter. Tried potatoes. I hate Zoolander's outfit. I want to know. Your boy Zoolander's rolling. It's the walk-off. It's the walk-off. <laughs> it's walk-off serious. It's a big deal. Everybody coming. Underground. Who gonna judge? <laughs> Zoolander back there stretching. <laughs> Alright, who's gonna call this sucker? If nobody has any objections, I believe I might be of service. David Bowie. I did a couple David Bowie reactions. <laughs> Dude, they got everybody in this movie. This is crazy. Old school rules. First model walks, second model duplicates, then elaborates. Each before beauty coaches. Whatever. Okay, it's going down. Uh, walk off, walk off, walk hey, hey. Get him, Zoo! <laughs> That was a good walk right there. 
Play school, baby. I don't know. Zoo got that one, Hansel. Beat it. <laughs> you gotta cut me. I can't see I'm blind out there. <laughs> they act like they boxing. <laughs> He cut his back! Kick it, Hoss. Go monk. I gotta go monk. Prayer. Prayer. Pray to the great spirit. He going monk on us. He cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so what we got? Oh, he grabbing a- Why is he sticking his hand in his pants? Hansel! <laughs> it's 10! That's a 10! Is that even possible? <laughs> he pulled his drawers off standing up while there's- I don't think that's possible. Do this, Tyson. <laughs> Zoo. Thank God I wore underwear today. <laughs> Come on, Zoo. What you got? Where he going? He digging. Cha cha. <laughs> no, he's using both hands. <laughs> disqualified. Oh no! He disqualified with pulling his drawers up his ass. I think Katinka wants to kill you. I deserve to die if I can't even beat Han suck ass at a walk off. <laughs> Derek, that's not true. I mean, the guy had to miraculously pull his underwear out of his <laughs> I'm not an ambi turner. It's a problem I had since I was a baby. Oh. I can't turn left. He can't turn left on this Derek, wall. It's nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there have got to be some people out there just like you who can't. <laughs> Anybody out there can't turn left? Saint Adonis Cemetery uh -huh. now. Wait, 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 who are you? <laughs> Who's that? I'm not sure. I have to get to Saint Adonis Cemetery. Listen, I'm gonna take you to my apartment, okay? You can stay there until I get back. Can I come with? I don't want to be alone tonight. Uh, he can't turn left. That is a serious. That's something wrong. But it's just funny. I never heard of that before. <laughs> Sorry. The Alpha. He died when he was 29. Uh, they got his dangling on his tombstone? Correjo, derriere extraordinaire. We will miss your <laughs> and your muscular buttocks. <laughs> None of them ever made it past 30. I did. Ah! Who are you? Are you a ghost? <laughs> he called, Derek. It would have been better if he was a ghost. Is <laughs> in trouble? <laughs> Think again. What you stumbled upon goes way deeper than you could ever fathom. The fashion industry has been behind every major political assassination for 200 years. Damn! Behind every hit, a card-carrying male model. Okay, that's impossible. Oh yeah? Listen and learn, sweetness. Abe Lincoln wanted to abolish slavery, right? But who do you think made the powdered wigs and colored leg stockings worn by our country's early leaders? Who got to? <laughs> Slaves, Derek. And without their free labor, prices on such items would have gone up tenfold. True. So the powers that be hired John Wilkes Booth, original model slash actor, to do Mr. Lincoln in. Damn actors killing the president. Texas, 1963. Kennedy had just put a trade embargo on Cuba, ostensibly halting the ship manufactured sons about slacks. Incredibly popular item at the time. Lee Harvey Oswald is not a male model. You're goddamn right he wasn't, but those two lookers who capped Kennedy from the grassy knoll sure as shit were. Well, what about you? How do you fit into all this? Well, this nation was swept. Oh. I'll get oh. it, man. 
Well, how are you gonna try to get it with uh, that hand? <laughs> hey, get over. Wait a minute. No, I know that hand. It was in the fall 1973 Boulevard Watch catalog. You're J.B. Pruitt. The world's greatest. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time. But things change. Thanks to this homemade hyperbaric chamber, my sweet baby never did. <laughs> he preserved his hand. It's the world's greatest hand right there. That's when I found out I was in line to assassinate Jimmy Carter. So how'd you manage to escape? I'm a hand model, mama. A figure jockey. We don't think the same way as the face and body boys do. We're a different breed. So why male models? Think about it, Derek. Male models were genetically constructed to become assassins. They can gain entry to the most secure places in the world. Models don't think for themselves. They do as they're told. That is not true. Yes, it is, Derek. OK. OK. Think about any photo shoot you've ever been on. You're a monkey, Derek! You're a monkey! Dance monkey! In your little face! Derek! Smash your symbol, Simpy! Damn! <laughs> Good That's point. That's crazy. But if this has been going on for so long, who got to? He's just a punk-ass errand boy working for an international syndicate of fashion design. Facts! A little background check on your Mr. Magatu. You'll find that he sold his soul to the devil for a shot at the big time. Don't they all? Why uh -huh. make models? I just told you. I just, I just told you that a moment ago. You're a killing machine, Derek. They've programmed you. But I won't do it. I won't kill anybody. It's not up to you. At the proper moment, they'll trigger you. Usually using some kind of auditory or visual Pavlovian response mechanism. What did what do? And when it's over... <laughs> what? There's an after party? <laughs> oh, this after party just started. You gotta get to Maury Boston's computer. He, he recorded everything in case they ever turned on him. Good luck to you, Derek. I've always been a fan of Blue Steel. And I hear Magnum's gonna blow us all away. Ah! Get out of here. Hang in there, JB. Ah! You freaking idiot! You about to die anyway. You ain't gonna need that hand no more. Man, <laughs> that was close. I can't believe Maury's in on it too. That she male Katinka is not messing around. You're telling me Dad for a second there I thought someone was gonna be reading Are You Googly? Alright, we need a place to hide. Eric, where's the last place anyone would ever expect to look for you? I don't know. Think, okay? This is important. <laughs> <laughs> Derek, think, man. I man hate all right. Hansel. Hansel, Hansel! Everywhere I look, Hansel, Hansel, Hansel! Ah, oh, he just got a bright idea. Oh no, he went to Hansel. <clears throat> Were you looking for a rematch? <laughs> Excuse me, Hansel. I don't really think there's an easy way to put this, so I am just gonna lay it out. Derek has been brainwashed to kill the Prime Minister of Malaysia. And? And we need a place to hide until we figure this whole thing out. Derek said that this would probably be the last place anyone would look for him. Yeah, you're cool to hide here. But first, me and him gotta straighten some shit out. <laughs> Careful, like, let's talk. Why you been acting so messed up towards me? Why you been acting so messed up towards me? Well, you go first. I don't know, maybe I felt like a little threatened or something, because your career is kind of just blossoming and mine's kind of winding down or whatever. And I felt like this guy's really hurting me. And it hurt. And I felt like when you told me to derelict my balls, <laughs> that really hurt. That was, cool. that was bad. I'm scared, man. You're Derek Zoolander. Yeah, you're Derek Zoolander. You know what it's like to be another model and be in Derek Zoolander's shadow? <laughs> You want to hear something crazy? Your work in the Winter 95 International Mail Catalog. <laughs> I didn't want to be a model. You was his inspiration, Zoolander. I freaking worship you, man. I'm sorry I was whack. I was whack. I was whack. <laughs> <laughs> what are the odds? What are the damn odds? Welcome to Shea Hansel. You're welcome to hide out here as long as you want. Mother Derek and Matilda are in hiding because some dudes brainwashed Derek to off the Prime Minister of Micronesia. Malaysia. Micronesia. <laughs> right. So, they're going to be hiding here for a little while. Let's show them a good time. Right on. Yeah, right on. All right, come on, over here. Hey, this oh, looks hey, like the place to be, though. Can you do me a favor? Will you get some of that tea that me and Lopsang got when we were free climbing the Mayan ruins? Okay, let go. <laughs> this is really strong tea. That's right. Trust me, what with all the intrigue you guys have been dealing with. You know, Matilda, I'm a little surprised you're so worried about Dare Rock. From that article I read, it seems like you don't really care too much about guys in our line of work. Yeah, Matilda. Do you hate models, Matilda? Honestly? Yes. 
I think they're vain, stupid, and incredibly self-centered. That's the business. I agree with you. But how do you feel about male models? Oh, uh, got her. Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> okay, okay, but seriously, Matilde. Smoked her. Is it all right if I call you Matilde? What's the dealio, yo? When I was in seventh grade, I was the fat kid in my class. Ew. <laughs> I'm sorry, please go ahead. My mistake. I was the one that all the pretty girls used to make fun of. It was it was an awkward phase. Anyway, every day after school, I would come home and, you know, I'd flip through the pages of my mom's Vogue. Look at these women, these perfect, beautiful, just unbelievable, skinny women. I just couldn't, uh, I couldn't understand why I didn't look like them. I, I just didn't get it. So, so I, I became bulimic. Oh, crap. That's not good. Read minds. <laughs> it's when you throw up after every meal. See, you know what? I mean? This is exactly what you models do to people. You make them feel bad about themselves. <laughs> so what? I throw up after lots of meals. Are you guys insane? You understand that it's a disease. <laughs> wow, and how'd that affect you with guys? They not want to get busy with you? Good point. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm not going to sit here with both of you and discuss my sex life or... <sighs> lack of? Or lack thereof. I knew it. Ooh. Oh. A couple of years? <sighs> Jesus! How do you live? How do you live? How is she alive? <laughs> You know what? Easy, I'm not comfortable easy, talking. Easy, easy, she easy. should be dead technically. A few years? It's been an emotional day for all of us. I think we should get naked. Matilda! So I'm no. telling you I'm Vesuvius when suddenly I slip and I start to fall. I mean, I'm about to die. Hot bread, Zeke. Just falling. Ah! Ah! Do they just have a mandingo party on Matilda? I remember. Holy shit. Ansel, haven't you been smoking peyote for six straight days? And couldn't some of this maybe be in your mind? And it was. I was totally fine. I've never even been to Mount Vesuvius. Full cool story, Hans. Thanks, Olaf. Dude, how dope was last night? I mean, the soil room. The dirt was flying. You couldn't see anything. I was like, whoa, who's that? Who's this? I think I'm falling for Matilda Hansel. After the Mandingo party? I wasn't going to say anything, but it was like crazy energy flying back and forth between you guys. I was like, oh, look out. There was a moment last night when she was sandwiched between the two Finnish dwarves and the Maori <laughs> tribesmen. <laughs> um, I thought, wow, I could really spend the rest of my life. This <laughs> That's what she thought at that moment. What do you call Love Depot. Hey. She looks hey. great. So what time is it? Almost five. What? Hey, guys, that show is in three hours. Derek is dead unless we get that evidence. Do you guys... Whoa, whoa, easy. How about a good afternoon, Derek and Hansel? Thanks for the freak fest last night. Matilda. Hello. Hello. She should be sore. Oh, hey, Katinka. Uh, no, I just had a really late party night last night. Derek. Where am I? Hang up the phone. Now! Hang Look, I have to go, but I'll see you at seven. Okay, bye. Derek, I thought I told you to turn off your phone. Turn off my phone? Turn off my phone? <laughs> yeah. Little ass Earth cell phone. Matilda, <laughs> this phone is as much a part of me as... You know what? Can we just cut it out with all the Earth twos, please? We're not actually saying this is the Earth calling you, Matilda. Yeah, no, I got that. I understand you don't literally uh, mean... No, I don't think you do. Listen, it's not like we think that we're actually in a control tower trying to reach outer space aliens or something, okay? <laughs> aliens are real. <laughs> They've been talking about it. <laughs> 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 they play too much. <laughs> you know what? Instead of doing that, I'm going to try to figure out a way into Maury's before Derek assassinates a world leader. Wait a minute. I might just have an idea. They'll be looking for us at Maury's, right? But they won't be looking for not us. Derek, what are you talking about? Hansel, do you have a cosmetics case? Sure. I mean, just for touch-ups or whatever. What are you going to do with that? That'll do. Early in my career, I used to do my own makeup, styling, and tailoring. If I can create a basic disguise for us, we may just be able to sneak into Maury's undetected. How the heck you gonna disguise y'all? <laughs> and I like it. I can't wait to see this disguise. It, what the? F oh no, he real good with the makeup. What the? Hell? <laughs> Ain't no way. To Dara Lee. Welcome to Dara Lee. Hansel calling Matil. Hansel calling Matil. We have entry. Repeat. We have entry. Okay, guys, I hear you. Now, once you get the info, I want you to email it to my office. And I'll download the files. We'll rendezvous and take the information to the police. We hear you loud and clear. Listen, Matil, I've been thinking a lot about that bulimia thing. And I want you to know, <laughs> I feel really bad that good-looking people like us made you throw up and feel bad about yourself. I'm serious. <laughs> Thanks, Derek. Now hurry up. Okay. Derek, you black mother jammer, you! On the name check you asked for on Jacobin Mugatu. 
Or should I say Jacob Moogberg? What? Yeah, he changed his name when he went into the fashion business. Apparently, the guy was the original guitar synth player for that band Frankie Goes to Hollywood. But he got kicked out before they hit it big with that song, Relax. After the Frankie folks gave the heave home, <gasps> Explains he why he was playing Relax. Until, get this, he invented the piano key necktie in 1985. The guy's been a fashion designer ever since. <laughs> Nobody wears a piano key neck. <laughs> oh my god. Here, use one of these? I don't think so. Watch out. <laughs> what? Fix that ham, Jay. Male models are idiots. Sorry to all the male models out there. He's not here yet, Jacobin. That little toad face better show up. He will show. Good, because I'm a hot little potato right now. <laughs> Must be an on button somewhere. To press the Apple thing. They really have no clue how to turn this Apple on. Guys, we gotta get it together, man. <laughs> he turned it back into a black dude. They monkeys now. Welcome back. <laughs> Guys. Wait. Henson. Let's not lose our cool. Too late. We're no better than the machine. It's almost seven. I gotta go. Oh. Gary, Gary, wait. If you go, they'll make you kill that Eurasian dude. I don't care, Hansel. I've never been late for a show in my life. I don't plan on starting now. Damn it, you're right. Do me a favor. Anything happens to me, I want you to give this to Matilda. Oh, no. Please, Hansel, take it. <laughs> How can he even keep up with that little ass phone? I just say, I'll hold on to it until you get back. Go! Go! Here, love. Hansel, a real G. <laughs> Her controversial designer, Jacobi Mugatu, has extended the olive branch to the Malaysian Prime Minister Hassan, making him the guest of honor at tonight's show. And starring in that show, veteran supermodel Derek Zoolander. Pop, yeah, I'm Guys, in the show. What's happening? Did you find the files? Matilda, we got problems. Derek's already left for the show. No, no, he can't. We don't even know what the trigger is. He just went running out of here. I couldn't stop him. I'll call him on his phone. He didn't have it. What? Yeah, he didn't have it. What are you talking about? <laughs> he always has it. He gave it to me. Did you find the files? I don't even know what they look. What do they look like? They're in the computer. They're in the computer? Yeah, they're definitely in there. I just don't know. No. I got it. No, he, 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 he about to open it. The time, Hansel, you gotta find them and meet me at the show. Roger. <laughs> he about to destroy this computer. It's so simple. Hey, <laughs> just cut up a couple of cantaloupe halves with some cottage cheese if you're hungry. Not the right time, Arch. I need to figure out this trigger before Derek kills the Malaysian Prime Minister. You just seem a little tense. I was trying to help you relax. Relax? The last thing I need to do right now is relax. Relax? Don't do it! Relax. Vagrants and whores, you're wanted in makeup. Mugato was pissed about that song because he missed out. So, <laughs> yeah, explains why it's relaxed. I'm really super psyched for the show. Good. Just remember, relax. Two minutes, Derek. They hit him with it. Ah, oh, there he is. I just want to wish you uh, good luck. Don't you mean goodbye? What are you talking? I know it was you, Maury. I know it was you. And it breaks my heart. Derek, I don't know what you're talking. Derek, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Too late, Maury. It's too late. I'm glad you could join us, Kmart. Lucky for you, there is no dress code. I am the vile few of the wretched mass. I am really, really dirty. I am derelict. That's a horrible outfit. Oh my god, even worse. You make me sick to my stomach, Jacko. <laughs> It'll all be over soon. Derek Zoolander will be dead. And you'll be fine. You always are. Come on, Derek, you're on. Take okay, Derek's out. Break a leg, Derek. They changed his music. Oh, Jesus Christ! Sake. The Queen of Bombs. <sighs> no. It's relaxed. <laughs> Fine, I've done this a thousand times. The trigger is oh. ah. Concentrate, derelict. Do not be distracted by the beautiful celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> do as you've been trained to do and kill the Malaysian Prime Minister! I'm the minister enjoying it. Divas, I got your back. What? Good switch up, <laughs> minister. Just save your ass. Too hot right now. Pop and lock and fool. They're breakdance fighting. <laughs> 
the break dance fighting. <laughs> oh. oh no. Hands up, just take the relax record off. Oh no! <gasps> Derek Zoolander just tried to kill the Prime Minister. Oh, he was about to rip his head off. That's bullshit. Listen up, everyone. Gatsu's a dick. He tried to brainwash Derek to kill the claymation dude. <laughs> he cannot get his name right. Zoolander snapped because he's over the hill. Knew his career was over and he couldn't face it. No way, compadre. We got 30 years worth of files right here in this computer. They're going to bring you down. Oh, no. Ah, down! Where'd all the files go? <laughs> Genius. Yo! Huh? Taste my pain, bitch! <laughs> Took her strap with a yo yo. You don't have the guts, Gamert. Wanna bet? And by the way, you were wrong about my outfit. It's the Cheryl Ladd collection, and I got it at JCPenney mm. on sale. <laughs> Bitch! Yeah, she a crazy one. Everything they're saying is true. I've been in on it 30 years. What are you doing, Ballstein? I'm done, Jocko. <laughs> I got a prostate the size of a honeydew and a head full of bad memories. It's time to set things straight. You have no evidence. Pan stupid destroyed everything. I got two words for you, sugar. Zip this. The whole thing is in my den in Long Island. I can have that evidence here in 20 minutes. a boy, Maury. Hold on a sec. I'm afraid of the radiation. Sheila, honey, it's me. Listen, I need you to bring that zip disc in the den down to the fashion show. I don't care what the traffic is like. Take the goddamn service road and get off before the bridge. Maury, fine time to have a conversation. Those Tupperware containers, and I'll heat it up in the microwave when I get home. For Christ's sake, it's a casserole, Sheila! It'll stay! Shut up! Enough already, Ballstein! <laughs> Who cares about Derek Zoolander anyway? The man has only one look for Christ's sake! Blue Steel? Ferrari? La Tigra? The same face! We yeah, have said that. All the same. Anyone notice this? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills! <laughs> I invented the piano key necktie! I invented it! What have you done, Derek? Nothing! You've done nothing! And I will be a monkey's uncle if I have you ruin this for me! Because if you can't get the job done, then I will! Legato losing it! Scum. No! One look! I don't think so! <laughs> there it is! The Magnum! Magnum! Holy moly! Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! Oh, dear God, that's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> the damn Magnum looks familiar. The Magnum looks familiar, but I like the look. <laughs> that's my kid. That's my son. Pop proud of the Magnum. <laughs> I love that kid. It's dumb as a stump, but I love him. <laughs> dumb as a stump for real. I, think I know. Turn left. Yeah, that too. Oh, crap. I didn't even notice that. From Malaysia. Oh, right. Cool. Thank you, Derek Zoolander, for saving my life. Mr. Prime Rib. <laughs> hey, you close enough. Dog, I didn't even recognize that he turned left. I was more focused on the look. That looks exactly like Blue Steel, but we ain't gonna say nothing. Oh! <laughs> oh my God. Hi, I'm former male supermodel Derek Zoolander. And here at the Derek Zoolander Center for Kids Who Can't Read Good and Who Want to Learn to Do Other Stuff Good Too, <laughs> we teach students of all ages everything they need. <laughs> oh, he got the black kid. And a professional human being. Jesus, Zoolander. He includes Business management teacher, former model agent, Maury Ballstein. The designer's got your nuts in a vice, offering you 10 million plus 3% of every pair of underwear sold. What are you going to do? Do it! Hold out for more! That's what I'm talking about. I'm Maury teaching them boys business. Oh, they're going to learn a lot. Center for kids who can't read good and want to learn to do other stuff good, too. We teach you that there's more to life than just being really, really, really good looking. Right, kids? Right! And cut. Wait, Derek, I think we got it. All right, Mitch, thanks. No comment, Derek. No comment. Hey, Hansel. Hey, D-Rock. I'm going to take these kids over to George Washington Bridge. Give them a little lesson in base jumping. I'll catch you in the teacher's lounge later on. All right. Hey, Matilda. 
There's Daddy. Hey. Hi. Need to knock Matilda out. Derek Jr. That's right. Guess what? He made his first look today. Really? Want to show Daddy your look, Derek Jr.? <gasps> ah! <laughs> wow. Hey, you guys want to hang out for story hour? Oh my god, the goddamn baby blue stealing for Magnumin or all the other looks that look alike. Wake me up! Oh, they cut it. That's the slapper though. That wake me up before you go go. But it's crazy that that wake me up song sounds so much different. Maybe I reacted to the remake. It was a guy dancing. I forgot his name, y'all. I'm sorry. It was a minute ago. <laughs> Is it me or did the Magnum look like the Blue Steel? I didn't see a difference, Ben. He made that Blue Steel face the whole movie. His face had to hurt from doing this the whole movie. <laughs> I wonder if he had to practice that because <laughs> he had that look for a long time. It hurt the muscles in your face. Try it. I don't know if I'm doing it right. I can't whip it together like him. Ah! I think I got to think of a different name for my look. My looks are a little off. Okay. The the weird the weirdo? No, that's more like the creep. Hold on. That's like the perv. Hold on. I don't know what to do. Guys, I need practice. I'm not a model. Granted, I need practice. Those looks were a little off. <laughs> hey, what the heck? They made male models seem really stupid. Any male models out there as dumb as the box of rocks like these guys willing to put your names in the comments? I'm, I'm not dissing anybody, okay? Dang. I'm not dissing the male model. This is, I'm taking it from the movie. Y'all dumb. All y'all worried about is looking good. Grow up, male model. And let me get the formula on how you get your chiseled booties and abs. I can use that. <laughs> oh my God. Ben Stiller never fails. Will Ferrell is just out of control. What doesn't he not do? Will Ferrell, is, he one of the goats. I think Will Ferrell one of the goats of the comedy world. He's willing to, you know, play any type of character. He doesn't care. He dance and to show his cock, his, put his balls on a set of drums. <laughs> just shots out the step, brother. Will Ferrell just don't care. That's why I like him. <laughs> What's next, y'all? What's next on the movie list? Let me know. Until next time. <laughs>